Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm taking a look at Dell's new Precision 7000 and 5000 series devices. The 7000 uh, mobile workstations look like mobile workstations. They're thinner and lighter than they used to be, but still sort of, you know, relatively chunky in terms of laptops. The, uh, these new 5000 series devices, though, are based on similar designs to the XPS 13 consumer, or XPS 15 uh, consumer edition notebooks, and we've got a clamshell style version here and a two-in-one uh, convertible style version. The two-in-one actually has hardware that's very similar to the 15.6-inch uh, two-in-one XPS model that came out earlier this year. It has uh, an Intel Cap Capy Lake G series processor, which means that it's an Intel uh, processor with uh, four processor cores and AMD graphics, 65 watt uh, AMD graphics. The difference is that this is AMD's pro version of the graphics, and um, so it gets you a little bit sort of extra functionality there in a similar design, meaning that we've got uh, very thin, very light. It's actually thinner and lighter than the clamshell version, uh, but it's a little bit less powerful in terms of general uh, CPU performance. It uh, supports pen input, and in fact, uh, we're sort of watching the video here. The pen input, input it has some of the same features that you get on Dell's Canvas-style device. So if you wanted to hook it up to an external display and use this as a graphics tablet, um, graphics tablet doesn't quite do justice to what's capable, what you're uh, capable of doing with those. But we've got uh, two USB uh, Type-C ports that you can use for display or data, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, including one that you can use for charging, and, uh, and that's sort of the um, two-in-one model that's going to be available um, for around $1,400, $1,500 and up. Uh, with, again, that uh, Capy Lake G processor. Now, this new whoop, clamshell style device, which I'm gonna ask you to open up for me so I can just shoot the video here. Um, this model has more of a traditional laptop style design, but it uh, has the new 45 watt uh, uh, Coffee Lake H series processor available with uh, up to a Core i7 or Xeon. Up to a Core i7 or Xeon processor, uh, up to a new six core processors. Um, and with NVIDIA Quadro graphics up to the 2000 series, uh, which is an upgrade over previous models, which were only available with up to the 1000 series. Uh, prices are going to be around the same, probably in the $1,500 starting price range. And both of these models we're looking at are running Windows 10 software, but they're going to be available with a choice of Linux distributions, including Ubuntu, SUSE, or Red Hat Linux. Uh, this model uh, should look familiar if you've seen the XPS 15.6 clamshell style laptop. It's got a very similar design. And one thing I can't really get over is as I'm looking at these 15-inch laptops next to uh, the 15-inch Precision um, 7000, it's, it's hard to believe that they're both 15.6 inch laptops. In terms of sort of the slim bezels, slim design that you get here, it looks more like a 14 inch notebook. Um, and we've sort of heard a lot over the last couple of years how slim bezels make it look like you've got a 15 inch screen and a 14 inch body or a 14 inch and a 13 inch. But uh, these are small enough that it really does feel substantially thinner and lighter. Uh, weighs probably around four, four and a half pounds. 4.2 pounds, I think. This is about four pounds. About four pounds. And that's a little over four pounds. A little over four pounds. Um, this model, though, we do get uh, a full-size SD card slot, which you don't have here. You have a micro SD card slot on the on the convertible. We've got a full-size USB port here, uh, which you don't have. You only have the USB Type-C ports on the other. So there's a couple of advantages. We're also looking at a model that has a matte display, and matte displays are going to be available across the board on most of the Precision models, not necessarily on the convertible. Right. But if you uh, wanted, this is, I think, a 1080p screen. It's also going to be available with a 4K display, which will be glossy and a touchscreen uh, capability. Again, you can see here we've got more full-size USB, full-size HDMI, and a USB Type-C port, as well as a headset jack. Um, the um, estimated battery life up to 22 hours in real life, take that with a grain of salt and expect probably more around 10 or 12 hours of battery life. Uh, if you're doing video editing, it might shrink down a little bit more. But you have those uh, those choices, those options when you've got that six-core processor, that NVIDIA graphics. You're not using all that power all the time. And one of the things that Dell's telling me is uh, special about their new versions of the software is that there's a sort of optimizer software that can detect what it is that you're doing and sort of tune the performance. For the first time, that software is also going to be available for the Linux versions, not just for the Windows versions of the software. So these are the two I paid the most attention to. If you could maybe walk me through a little bit more on uh, this guy, which is the 15 uh, 0.6 inch 7530. What's the starting price here? So this starts at about 11.99. Okay. And the interesting thing about our mainstream uh, Precision 7000 series is this is built for performance. Mm -hmm. So if you think about our lineup, our 3000 series, our value 
our 5000 series are all about form factor and our 7000 series are uncompromised performance. So that's why you see we're building beautiful form factors that are thinner and lighter in our 5000 series, but we are uncompromised in performance in the 7000 series. So this 7530, this has uh, up to 45 watt Xeons in there. Uh, six cores. It also has uh, up to 60 watt uh, graphics uh, uh, processing power. And, and that's the NVIDIA Quadro uh, NVIDIA 3000 or? Quadro 3000 in there, Pascal 3000. Yeah. And the interesting thing is these run unconstrained, meaning the CPU and the GPU simultaneously can run at 100% performance each. So we don't constrain or throttle these products at all. And this model, I, I believe I was told, is going to be available with up to 128 gigabytes of... Yes, so starting summer, these products will be available with 120 gigs of 128 gigabytes of memory. The 15-inch will have up to 6 terabytes of PCIe SSD storage. Our 17-inch model, the 7730, is going to have up to 8 terabytes of storage. Again, 128 gigabytes of memory. And that's DDR4-3200? So DDR4-3200, we call it super speed memory. Um, the other interesting thing about the 7000 series 17-inch is that one has 100 watts of graphics. So 60 watts of graphics in the 15 inch, 100 watts of graphics in the 17 inch, and 8 terabytes of storage. And that's Quadro P5000? Up so. to P5000, yes. And so the other interesting thing about these products is our 7720, the predecessor to this, was VR ready. That continues in this uh, class of product. But we are, for the first time, able to put VR class performance in our 15-inch notebook workstation. And so with the Pascal 3000, you can do real VR creation for 90 frames per second. So that's a, uh, that's a first in this space. Uh, a first in the 7000 series space, uh, the 17-inch, is that that is now capable of AI creation, so artificial intelligence creation with the high-end Xeon processors from Intel and the Pascal 5000 GPU. You can go create algorithms for AI and test it out on that machine and use it as an inference edge inference system. And unlike the 5000 series, these all have webcams above the screen instead of they below do. the screen. They do. I know some people love that. That's why I said these are uncompromised for performance and usability. So we've got thinner and lighter in the 5000 series. If you're looking for something that's more portable, uh, weighs around four pounds, it's gonna be something you can take on the go. You get more ports, you get more power, you get higher power processing and um, and higher uh, performance graphics if you go for the 7000 series. That's and, um, and those are some of the main differences. And these are all gonna be hitting the streets this summer or? Yeah, so all of these are gonna hit the streets uh, uh, late May. Late May? Okay, so before the summer. That's right. And let me take a quick overview here. We got to look at the other side. This side we've got uh, smart card, more USB, HDMI, display port, Ethernet, uh, plenty of ventilation here. And uh, just do a quick look here. This is the 7530 mobile workstation with up to 16 terabytes of storage, up to 128 gigabytes of RAM at 3200 megahertz. And this 17 inch model which is everything in the 15-inch version and then a little bit more. <laughs> That's right.